What up, YouTube? It's me, your boy Dion. I'm back. We all in the house, chilling, hiding from the COVID 19. I decided to give you guys an episode. You can't see all the boxes it's sitting right here in front of me, but I decided to show you guys, uh, you know, my mini shoe collection. Those guys out here with thousands and thousands of pairs of uh, tennis shoes, dress shoes, uh, boots, whatever you may have it. I'm going to try to go through them fairly uh, quickly so you guys can see, you know, how I, how I style myself up, man. How I like to think I keep myself fresh. Anyway, so um, with further ado, you know, I'm going to get right to it. It's my favorite pair right here. Don't ask me why they're in the bag. I don't know what happened to the box. But I'm going to have to put them back in the bag because they need washing. Chuck Taylor's. Converse. With the flags all over them. I don't know how good y'all can see the uh, all the mud. All the sand in them. I got those on there from uh Riding uh, four wheelers through the desert and uh, Las Vegas. Still ain't watched them yet. I'm gonna do it soon. One of my favorite pal. And uh, these here, it's another pal. Got the camel suit. Got the camel suit logo all over them, uh, all around, as you can see. It's not one of my favorite pair. You know, usually wear these with no socks, something like that. I, I really like them, man. You know, just throw on, go to the store real quick, anything. I like them. They need washing too, but, you know, they chuck titles. I probably won't wash these, so just wear them. Um, Keep it with that. I know I need to wash these, but I just dust them off. All black Vans. You know, I know uh, Vans was all the craze. A few years ago, everybody was jumping on. You know, I barely wore these. You know, you see when people um, wear them a lot, they wear down these little red tags in the back. <laughs> these still fresh. I only wore them a couple times. They just dirty because I don't have them in the box. Well, dusty. Oh, the burgundy bands. The burgundy joints. See these worn down. They worn down a little bit in the back. I like these. Cause y'all wonder, I wear size 11. All these shoes, primarily size 11. Maybe with one or two, maybe, you know, a different size or something, depending on how they fit. Um, different pair of black fans, you know, it's a different style. You know how that, that line down the side of them, I wore these a lot here. One of my favorite pair, you know, it's, 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 like you don't see too many black guys <laughs> rocking this style, but I like them. Socks, uh, it's really low cut socks. Primarily no socks, you know, you don't need socks with these, it's a summertime shoe. We live in Chicago, you wear these in the, in the winter time, you're brave, so. Okay. Got the Levi's joints, they almost, they virtually identical to the, uh, to the ones I just showed you, the Vans, but I like them. I think these probably gonna sell for like 20 bucks or something, so. I went over ahead and grabbed them. Might break them out summertime. Like I said, they'll look dirty too, but who cares? Summertime shoot. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go right to the old school on y'all. To the old school on y'all. Oh man, I haven't worn these in like in so many years. Y'all are oldie. What a goodie. My Nike Air Mock Force. You see them, that Toronto Raptors colorway. Yeah, they dirty. 
like I said though, these are, are really old, oldie, but a goodie. You know, probably had these like eight, nine years. So, something like that. <clears throat> Clean them off. Might break them out. I might. I might. We see. See what else I got for you. RP, one of the goats. Those Kobe's. Before he was with Adidas. Before he was with Nike, he was with Adidas. The crazy eights. These lightweights. Um, you know, this uh, re release. Um, they got the cloth material. Uh, really light. Really nice. Throwing some joggers. Uh, you know. Printed T, you can see some real smooth. Rock those Adidas Crazy Eights. And you know, crazy enough, I got these on a sale too. Uh, real sweet, real su sweet sale. <clears throat> Neon Dion. Not me, not me. Dion Sanders Prime Time. Um, the Speed Turfs. Sweet, you know, it's 90s classic here. I don't really rock these when I'm rocking on um, some Cubs, a tire, uh, something like that. They look dirty, they ain't too bad though. Uh, really like them, really like those. I had to have them, and then I got my Harachi Drift, the Harachi Drift, New York Mick. New York Met colorway. Yeah, I'm from Chicago. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is uh red, black, and white for the boys, but I had to have these. These these is uh real light, man. Real light. Feel like a, a, a sock, man. Nike, you know what they be doing. Got the different color laces to match. Got these little uh extra eyelet uh things that came in. You know these Stick them on, you know, to give you um, more stability. I never use them because, you know, I'm not really working out with them. They more for fashion, uh, for me. And uh, give y'all my uh, my Air Force Ones. You know, I don't really wear them too much anymore. Used to be real big on them when I was younger. Got this. Uh, I don't know if y'all, how many of y'all remember the crocodile print. But they were doing these crocodile prints a few years ago. These are really dirty. Uh, I actually forgot I had them. Probably could clean them off, bring them back to life, you know. Bring them back out, brown, crocodile print. Probably bought these in uh, uh, 2013. Forgot they was in the closet, but uh, I really like them. They're not, you know, they're not beat up too bad, but they just need a good cleaner. The white sole. A little dirty. I might try find some experiment with. Got these all green army joints. This is supposed to be a boot, but it's described as a boot when you look it up. But it's it's really not a boot because this is just like a thin cloth material. Uh, the laces are here really just for show because there's no tongue on a shoe. You gotta unzip it. Pull this down, kind of like slip your feet in, uh, zip it back up, and you go real stylish. Um, I really like these, but then you like shit like a month, two months after I bought them, they went on sale and the outlet for like half the price I paid for them when I just could have waited and got them, you know. But either way, go, I still like them, I still rock these. Time to time, I'll break them out. Put them on. <sighs> Ain't broke these out yet. I think I just like really like try them on. <sighs> Call these my the dynasties. Call of the wilds. Cloth. Air Force One. Uh, I think they came out last year. Maybe the year before. Still ain't seen the ground outside. I really like these though. I'm gonna break them out. I'm gonna rock these. These, oh man, these are so nasty. You know, 
I don't know. If you don't think they nasty, then shit, I don't know. Maybe I ain't got no style. But I really like this, though. Oh, oh, they so sweet. Um, <clears throat> my old school Adidas. These are dirty. Got these from the outlet. Another pair I got on sale. You know, probably $29.99, Um, uh, I wore these a couple times. They dirty though. Um, I, I, you know, I can clean them off, rock them, cause you know there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They just um, a little dirty. Probably was wearing them in the winter time. Came with the alternate black laces. Uh, also a strap. I never wore a strap on them. But <clears throat> I like them. I, you know, I like the old school shoes, the classics. But <clears throat> speaking of old shoes, school shoes the classics the f was me okay the jordan one this is the mid top it's like an off color not the original color you know something they brought out and i just got them because i like them just a kick around shoe uh you know probably record some shows and um you know some shit like that i don't really wear them too much play a little basketball you know some shit like that um, get right to my Air Max the Chicago City of Hustlers Dope Boy 95 Air Max on it's a green um, probably can't really tell these look dirty but because of they, uh, all these uh, like four different color greens with the orange in them you know that, that is really good at concealing you know, your everyday uh, wear and tear and walking. Um, you know, probably had these a couple of years. I don't know what I did with the box shit. I don't know. But <clears throat> I like them, so I wear them. They, they be in a rotation, kind of heavy. Um, he's hot, man. Piping hot. The Anthony Penny. Hard of way on posits. Um, the color is habanero, it's not orange, it's not red, it's habanero. So, these is hot as you can see. My watch is red, these are not those habanero. I'm gonna keep it in a phone family for y'all. Another one of my favorite pair. Wizard of Oz joints. Cook your heel. A couple times. You know? You get to go home. All go phone posits. Okay? These was a hard buy. You caught those. You caught those. Those something special, man. It was hard to get your hands on a pair of those, man. But I got them. Another pair of my favorite. I don't really get to wear these that much. High top. Air Force One. All black. Phone positive. What more can I say? They easy to keep clean. Just wipe them right down. This ultimate shoe here. Easy to keep. Almost bought these in all red, man. Believe it or not. I almost bought them all red. I don't think really threw it off. With like uh, all the inside here was black. Uh, if it probably would have been all red, I probably would have copped them. But since it wasn't, I passed on them. Uh, <clears throat> hit y'all with the rest of my um, Air Max. You know, I really wasn't too much of an Air Max uh, guy growing up. I was more so into uh, Air Force Ones and. Um, you know, like the flatter shoes, like the class shoes, Chuck Taylors, different things like that. Air Max Tailwind, Black on Black, Batman. I am. Um, these nice, man. These sweet. It's like 190. These is nice, though, man. Another 90 shoe. Or maybe an early 2000 shoe. 
They brought back, man. Worth every penny, though. I love them. Um, what else I got here? Oh, white and gray. Air Max 95. The gray is more like a, a reflector. You know, like a bike or like a vest or something like that. When I got them on. I take a picture. Uh, the flash just like lights them up. You know, like on some PDD and a bad boy family type shit. Take that, take that. Uh, you know, follow me on Facebook. Saw my pictures on Instagram. Uh, these are the shoes I had on when I was out in D.C. Uh, out of Maryland. Rocking the East, having a good time. I love DC, man. It was beautiful. Um, also, oh, my Duck Dynasty 97s. You know, y'all can see I had a thing for that. I got a thing for that print. You know, a lot of people do. A lot of people have a thing for that print, that Hunter's print, that, that you know, wish I could make that duck noise, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could make that duck noise, but I love these motherfuckers, man. They got the uh, got the habanero uh, Nike sign with the habanero tips. Yes, it's not red, it's not orange, it's habanero. Okay, uh, <clears throat> dope boy 95F Max on. These is uh, really unique. I haven't seen nobody uh, with this particular uh, style um, all the way down. How you break down the, the layers, they all like a different animal print. I don't know what the top one would really be, but the second layer is like a fur, the bottom is like a snake skin. Obviously, they are uh, no animals in the making of this video, Peter. Um, I really like these though, man. I rock these. <clears throat> And I still haven't seen anybody else with them all, so that's, that's why I, I think I really like them uh, even more. I'm going to uh, get out into my small Jordan collection. My Jordan 9 boots. This is the ultimate boot. You know, you real sneaker heads out there. Uh, they start making these, uh, the, putting the Jordans in boots. They got the alternative laces. This is not really like a purple. I don't really know what to call this uh, color, but this is this is real sweet. This boot it, it really held up and it was really worth the money. Uh, I don't even know how much these motherfuckers was. No, two fifty, two fifty for those. It was worth it. I think I've had them maybe three years now. They they worth the money. Cause you just really wipe them down, and they still they still good. And I, you know, I really don't go nowhere when it's cold outside, unless I'm working. <clears throat> Ferrari, Jordan 14, all yellow, mustard. <sighs> Pass me the gray poupon, okay? I don't even know great on this mustard, but it just felt like something I should say right now. <clears throat> Jordan 14s came out last summer, I believe. Last summer. <sighs> Cocaine. Let me dust my hands off. Some of them boxes look dirty. Let me pull the cocaines out for you. <sighs> Six ring joints. You can see in the sole. In the sole of the shoe, it has the uh, the specs, the different color, like a painter, paint the canvas, and they get the little. What more can I say, man? You know, I never really, I like the six rings, but this was my first time getting a pair, and I probably wore these two or three times. Wore these to Memphis last year. Saw me a couple of pictures. I was in down there in Memphis, May, enjoying myself. All white Jordan, uh, six rings on. <clears throat> oh man, when I seen this next pair here, I just had to have it. I had to have it. You know, I don't know how uh, y'all are with the, uh, if y'all familiar with the Chinese New Year, but uh, these was 2019 
Jordan 12. This material here is like a silk. You know, I, I almost didn't even want to wear these. I also wore these uh, when I was down in uh, Memphis in May last year. Memphis and May going to be canceled this year due to the uh, 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 COVID-19 pandemic. But got the gold, got the gold eyelets at the top. Got the gold eyelets at the top. Got the gold jump man on the side. Um, this print is like year the pig print. Even the two, three is in... Uh, and um, I don't even want to say it wrong, but it's it's not a two and a three. Even a print of the paper or the packaging in the box, I'm gonna put that back in there, right? These here, this this is like three hundred. Um, for them joints there, that's that's crazy. I had to have them though. I didn't like the uh the Chinese New Year one. New Year edition for uh, 2020. So I ain't cop those. Uh, the Bugs Bunny Retro 8. Got the alternative laces in here. The pink. Um, I, I've uh, seen a couple sites where they saying these, they're going to re-release these in the same exact color. I don't know if they was uh, supposed to been doing it for Easter or uh, whatever the case may be but I got these last year maybe the year before <sighs> sweet deal on sweet price on them I didn't even pay the regular price for them I got them for a regular I got them for a sweet deal and look at it they about to come back out again so I'll break them out wipe them down a little bit and act like I just got them with everybody else but don't tell nobody you seen on this video first okay keep that between me and you um <clears throat> I got the Jordan 5s here. These are that silky material. I love this one. Um, I throw them on a lot. Y'all can see, you know, when you wear them a lot, that uh, clear sole starts to uh, get the light little piss tint on it with the reflective tongue. I, I wear them so much, they so comfortable, man. I, I even 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 fix the laces the proper way I just pull them on and just kind of like tighten this up and go pull the job and pants on hit the street you know see what the night brings um, oh man oh, this box is really dirty the 2018 cap and gowns I had to do like a little bidding war on um I don't even know what site to get these. Well, not really like a bid in the war, but you know how you, they do the, the number and the place in line that you got to be ready to pay your money or then go to the next person. These was really hot when they came out. Uh, the cap and gowns. Uh, you know, y'all watch the videos. We was in Vegas, me and the fellas. It's primarily the shoe that I had on these in the uh, gold. Uh, phone posits, but you know, I probably wore these maybe five or six times. They're not really gonna get no work because I really like those. Uh, <clears throat> another one of my for the Chicago weather. Um, one of the boot that like symbolizes like a, like a workman style, you know, thing. Um, and I also like that it had these brown specks in the uh, white uh, sole. And it's not dirty. These are not too bad. Uh, dirty, but I still rock these. Uh, these are the... I can't remember if these are 2017 editions or 2018 editions. They got the, uh, the stars in the toe. I can't remember. I still want them. I still want them, though. I got a couple pair of... Uh, different Nike boots in the closet. I didn't break them out for the video. I got, shit, I got a bunch of boots like, uh, Snow Face boots, Columbia boots, um, shit like that. This is Chicago, we get a lot of snow, so I just wanted to, you know, kind of like bring out my sneaker style stuff and show you guys. Um, <clears throat> and these here, right here. What's the price tag on these? These was 220. 
you know, I really like these. They dirty. Probably only warm like five times. But it's like these motherfuckers just attract dirt. Uh, the Jordan uh, Platinum 11s. I uh, can't really remember or, um, how many sold this symbolized. But it was something um, that coincided with the release of this one and how many uh, Jordans that uh, Nike sold. So I felt it was like uh, really cool to uh, go ahead and grab me a pair of those. Um, let me see. Show you my shoes, my workout shoes. We need the gym to open back up. Um, these are brand new. Under Armour. Under Armour Charged. I really like them. It's a cross trainer. It's flat. Uh, low top. Really comfortable. Um, when I try them on, walk around them a little bit. It looks really long though. Even though, you know, I told y'all I'm only wear size 11. But, um, I really like them. They, they gonna get some work. So I'm gonna just jump over back up because I'm about to go crazy. Also, Monda um, Monda Armor. I don't know if they call Hover or H O V R. Either way, these are these were the very first shoe that I bought that were uh, like that sock material. I wasn't really like sold on that all the way, but it you know really broke out big. Kanye doing it with the Yeezys and stuff like that. But like I sweat when I got these on. I feel like I'm just like walking around and. I don't know, some nice footies or something, but they really fucking comfortable. Um, what else I got? What else I got? Uh, the Pumas. I was big on Pumas too. When I was younger, late teens, early 20s. The GV Special. White on white. As y'all can see, like, shit, the paper's still in the inside of them. I haven't even, I haven't even tried these on, you know, but they're my size, they size 11. And, um, shit, I don't even know when or when. Somebody invite me to an all-white party, all-white day party, so I rock. That's my all-white linen shorts and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just, just invite me, bro, feel free. Um. This was my last pair of shoes I bought. My most recent pair of shoes I bought. These are Adidas Chaos. Okay. Now, um, got the cloud phone key ring on them. Um, I just tried them on. I recently picked these up maybe a month ago. I'm talking about they are so soft on the inside. It's like memory foam and the inside of them. You know, it's a classic shoe that they touched up, you know, put some um, newer touches on it. Um, got the infrared. Um, it's not really, it's not really infrared, but it's more like a kind of like pinkish. But <clears throat> they're really nice. They're really comfortable. Khaki shorts. Nice printed tee. Chicago summer. Can't go wrong. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of regretting this now because I'm going to put all these shoe boxes back up. I'm going to have to store them all back up. But it probably give me a chance to kind of like dust some of the boxes off because, like I said, I barely wear uh, these shoes. But show y'all a couple of my dress shoes grown man shit ain't all about the sneakers the Cole Hans the Cole Hans $300 Italian leather grown man dress you really like these they really comfortable nice thin sock bar mitzvah wear New Year's Eve, Christmas, 
whatever you feel like. I got these off all these here. You know, some to go to the bar, some to go high and hang out in. You want to get uh, like super casual. You know, you don't want to put no gym shoes on, but you don't want to be too dressy. I got these off the Kenna Cole uh, website. <clears throat> They're really nice. The price was like $29.99, $39.99, uh, something like that. Some real nice, some real nice slick. Those some jeans on, nice shirt, hit the town. Last but not least, <clears throat> show y'all my work shoe. That's what I work in. Like to keep something high even when it's um warm outside. Uh, I'm real active at work, so I don't like to, you know, have my ankle exposed. So I like to you know, keep it tied up, keep it tight. But you see, it's real breathable. Um, it's real comfortable. Feels like a sneaker of course and um got the rubber protection on the toe so i won't bump my toe on nothing and uh i heard it too bad but uh they're real comfortable this is like my 20th pair of these these are brand new i'm gonna break them out when i work tomorrow because my other pair is worn down give y'all example This is what I've been wearing to work. As y'all can see, they really dirty, really worn down, a lot of creases. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Don't, you know, don't talk shit about me. The soul really, <laughs> the soul really worn down. But it's time for me to break the new ones out and uh, put some work in on them. In four months, they'll look like these. But this is my last pair. I usually try to buy them in like groups of two or three, you know, catch them on sale. For uh, 60 bucks, 70 bucks, something like that. Get a couple pair at a time so I won't have to really worry about, uh, you know, trying to re up on them. Might as well just get them out. Get that action them out. Now, y'all probably think, like, well, what you got on right now, then? <clears throat> got on the OG. Got on the OG Melvin's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know OG Melvin's I'm in the crib relaxing I just figured I'd bring y'all a uh, quick video man show y'all my mini mini shoe collection it was like at one point when I was younger shit hell I probably had 100 200 pair of sneakers I really can't do it the way I uh, used to with uh, the shoes it's hard to maintain hard to keep clean and Shit, you need space when you, you, you're you not alone living in the house. You, you got to share space with other people. So there's no way I can have that many uh, sneakers or dress shoes or whatever. I got more dress shoes too. I'm not going to show y'all those. they like those old uh, Deacon 9000s. You know what I'm saying? I got, <laughs> I got some boat shoes. Um, you know, different stuff. But I hope this video was entertaining. You know? Hope uh, y'all like a couple pair. You know, if y'all didn't like a couple pair, just leave a comment below. Say, man, Dion knows the boys. Or Dion, you need to throw those away. Or I like those. Whatever. You know, just let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that thumbs up button. Share the video. Um, with this COVID-19 stuff going on, I'm going to make sure I'm more active and bring more videos. 